twins welcome back to our channel well well how are you all doing and happy happy new year happy new year happy sunday happy sunday Rhonda and i are out riding around piddling around just That's seeing what we, what we can see mm -hmm. we haven't been out of the house a lot because we had our kids here of course as you already know for the holidays my daughter and grandbaby just left this morning uh, on their flight back to japan so i've been spending all of my time as much as i can outside of work with them so we haven't been out uh piddling around like we would normally are since they were here but oh my goodness when i tell you i enjoy nana's baby mm -hmm. oh my goodness oh my goodness and she's so smart she is super smart and i'm just loving it and every time she said nana i'm telling you it just warmed my heart i'm gonna give y'all a little secret that my daughter doesn't know her birthday was January 4th and we did a little birthday party for her at the house and her dad bought her a pinata. And so in this pinata, of course, was going to be a, all different types of chocolate candy. Mm -hmm. And she saw that candy and she said, oh, Nana, please. And I said, please what? She said, please give me some chocolate. <laughs> and I peeped around to the left and I peeped around to the right and I didn't see anybody coming so I unwrapped a piece of candy and That's then right. of course as kids do she said Nana Nana please and I said please what and she said please more please can I have more chocolate and I peeped to the left and I peeped to the right and gave Nana's baby another piece of yes, chocolate please. as she calls it I mean, isn't that what nanas are supposed to do? Yes. 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 Now, I did help her brush her teeth afterwards, but we did share chocolate, as she calls it. So we had a lot of experiences and made a lot of memories. Um, and when, when will they be back? I'm not sure because... Mm -hmm. um, I just I don't know what the plans are for 2024 I do know that my son-in-law who is on deployment right now and he came for Christmas too we had a ball I do know that he'll be back home in June and then they'll be moving on to somewhere else so I guess I will find out later on in the year so how have y'all been doing Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to all of you. And I hope that you all have family and friends around you that made you happy. Mm -hmm. And not only happy, but filled with joy. Because there is a difference in being happy and being filled with joy. And when I tell you my heart has been filled with joy. And I just thank God for another year to be with all of my family, all of my kids all of you all it is such a blessing and i don't take it for granted at all it that's is right truly a blessing and you get to hear about the the uh going zone and all with uh cat williams oh yes <laughs> y'all cat williams is cat nanny he, he is, is cat. catting around and i am here for it loving it y'all leave us a comment and let us know what you think about, about what Cat Williams had has to say when he shook up the world and, and just got it all stirred up? What do y'all think about that? Now, I'm going to tell you now. I'm going to tell you. I believe Cat Williams is telling the truth. I do. I 100%. Do. I mean, I do. I do. Mm -hmm. I do. You just do. Everybody has their opinion mm -hmm. and all that. We're not trying to get too deep into it. But if we're not making it political mm -hmm. or anything. This is just two little old opinions from Rink and Shank. Shank. You know, uh, we see it all on the internet, just like you all do. So tell but us you what know, you think. You know, they're saying that it all got started. Ed Lover came out and, and to me, provided the clarification that I needed. Because I'm like, what is 
the deal. What is cat's beef with right. Steve Harvey? What? Right. What? What? Right. I just right. don't. And so Ed Lover came out and said that Steve Harvey didn't treat he, Bernie Mac right. Well, he also said that. Oh no, it wasn't Ed Lover. It was Don D.C. Curry. You remember Don D.C. Curry? But Ed Lover did too. Yeah, he is so funny, y'all. We love Don D.C. Curry. You don't yeah. hear. I don't hear about him as much, but he's a comedian that has always yeah. been a favorite. He's funny. He, he is, is funny. Just not, he's just funny. But he told a story on a podcast that Cat told him that one day Cat and his kids went to the mall and the kids recognized and wanted to meet Steve, Steve Harvey. Harvey. So they went up and approached him. And y'all look at her point. I'm you, pointing you, I'm to all good. All good. Down. Go okay, down. Go down. This, this is the wrong place. Yeah, this is the wrong place. But okay. I, didn't want, I didn't want you to meet him. Okay, okay. So y'all, we're going to home business. Y'all can see we haven't been in a while. Yeah. But anyway, D.C. Curry or Don Curry said that. So the kids went up and approached Steve Harvey and that he was not friendly at all. And he wasn't too receptive. Wanted and, to know, I mean, what is this about? And all So of then, that. of course, the kids went back to Cat and told Cat what happened. Now, apparently, this happened from my understanding, about a year before Cat really blew up. He was on the scene. Right. He was making the rounds with the comedy circuit, you know, mm -hmm. playing the clubs and all. But he hadn't blown up, blown up. He wasn't the Cat Williams. Williams but the next year, he was the Cat Williams. But apparently, you know, Cat didn't like that. Yeah. That Steve, and and y'all tell us, I mean, what do y'all think about Steve Harvey? Some people just love, love, love Steve Harvey, and some people just don't what do y'all think about him leave us a comment so you know um I, this is this is how i feel about celebrities and people that are known who sometimes to me act as if they don't really want to be they want the celebrity they want all of the Adulation, adulation and all the fixing, all the perks, all of that, that all comes the money, along with that, it, but, but they don't really want yeah, the fans. And some of them, not all of them, not though. all of them. Some of them have seen; they seem to have forgotten that if it were not for the masses of people uh, making them celebrities, watching their TV shows, supporting their movies, or whatever field of business they're in they wouldn't be known mm -hmm. more than others because mm -hmm. i don't i don't know about y'all but i feel like i'm a celebrity every day that <laughs> we god wakes mama. me up yes. i'm a nana and i'm in good health and uh, and i'm here talking to y'all don't y'all feel like celebrities mm -hmm. too and y'all gotta remember we grandmama we grand yes we grandmama said that we were stars yes so. our grandmama told us when we were little that, that we were celebrities and stars. And, and when this, I yes. tell you, I have never forgotten it. And if we grandmama said mm -hmm. that. And if grandma true. said it, that was what it was. And she just, she told us we were just the prettiest things walking and moving. And the smartest. And the smartest. And the sweetest. And the, you y'all know that grandmama love. Y'all know All of that. All of that. So it, it stuck with me. So I am just as much of a celebrity. <laughs> but you know I just feel like you have to take all that comes with that mm -hmm. you you can't you know because listen y'all Shonda has met a lot of celebrities mm -hmm. we kind of touched on this before she used to I've, I've dated a couple of people two or three people that were amongst uh, that that ran, in those circles, ran in those circles and could be considered to be celebrities. Mm -hmm. So I was able to, due to these different relationships, able to go and meet some of the people that you might see in the movies and, you know, singers and all of that. And Tell some, of, some of the were, places you went. Now, well, there's one place that she went, y'all, I was kind of jealous. She went to the, which one, that gospel, was it the gospel awards? The Stella, uh, what they call it? Which award show did you go to? Oh my my goodness! Just, was, it the, was it the Stella Award? Uh, different ones. I yeah. just put it that way. I've been to a lot of these TV shows, uh, reward award shows that you might see 
uh, you know, with awards given out on TV. I've gone there. And some of the people that I met were extremely nice. I tell you, somebody that I thought was extremely nice was Jasmine Guy. Uh, she was extremely Y'all, nice. Y'all, that's Whitley. Y'all remember Whitley, Whitley from, from the, the TV show? Mm -hmm. yeah. And Samuel Jackson was very, very nice. Uh, I have been in the company of some of the sports stars. Uh, Jesse Tuggle. So, so nice. Him and his family. I mean, just different different people. Uh, you know, Lisa Ray was Lisa Ray. She's the same Lisa Ray that you see on TV. And she really does wear white all of the time. I have pictures with Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard is so handsome in person, y'all. The TV really doesn't do him justice if you think he's handsome on yeah, TV. he's a cutie pal. He TV. is definitely a cutie. And he is so so nice yeah but just to name a few so your girl you, you know you your girl, girl skipped, you skipped over lisa ray well lisa ray is the same lisa ray that you all see on tv <laughs> well as y'all can see it is now dark and we stopped to get us something to eat I guess we're we're through ramen. When we leave here, we're gonna head on in, right? Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna show y'all what we got tonight. We both got us a crispy fish sandwich here at uh, here at the Arby's, and I have the same thing except I have crinkle fries. Mm -hmm. I didn't get any fries. I just got the entree, and we're both drinking lemonade. We've never had this fish sandwich, so we'll have to come back and let y'all know what we thought about it. Let me bite it. Let me just bite it for y'all and let y'all know what I think about this fish sandwich. Taste test. How is it? Pretty good. It's definitely better than that McDonald's fish sandwich. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's bigger. It comes with lettuce and tartar sauce on it. It's a bigger piece of fish. I'll give it a thumbs up. Did you did you taste it yet? No. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we're gonna get ready to wrap up today's car chat. I know we didn't chat too long with y'all, but we kind of rambled around. This was our ramble around day. We haven't done this in a while. so. And of course, we filmed it so you'll get to see how and what we were rambling for. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it felt good to get out and we said that more than once today. It felt good to just get out and be out. We haven't been out in several weeks. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so what I have coming up, I will be showing you all my Christmas takedown and refreshing different rooms. I'll be showing you that. How I'm putting things back together. And yeah. Mm-hmm. I have some other little things piddling. Just piddling around the house. Mm -hmm. I do have a couple of projects. A couple of more DIY projects. I hope y'all had a chance to see the one I just did at my daughter's house in her kitchen. She really loved it. And it did my heart good because you know, it was a solution to a problem that she had with storage in the kitchen. So, I was happy with that. If you haven't seen it, we added shelves and also a sideboard in the kitchen. Added the sideboard and put shelves on top mm -hmm. for storage for her. So, I'll link that video down in the description box for y'all. Rhonda and I also have some... <clears throat> different clothes styling videos coming. Mm -hmm. We have some beauty videos coming. We got a lot of things popping off, y'all. Y'all, 2024.